Who wants to talk about glassware? Let's do it right now. All right, so welcome back. Uh, my name's Tim, and this is the Homebrewer Hobby Channel, and uh, I brew beer. The last couple of videos uh, I did, I've been standing here, and I actually got a couple of questions about this stuff. So I figured, let's talk about it. Simple. It's your fault. All right, so this is my station, if you will, with my kegerator, kegerator, no, keyser, freezer, kegerator, refrigerator, kegerator, oh my god, wow, okay, so what I have here is a very oddball collection of glasses, All right, and so this one here, you gotta love that one, it's my bone shaker, Completely improbable that I will ever serve a bone shaker out of this thing, but it's awesome. All right now, I'm a member of a local homebrew club, if you will, and every year or so it's called the Members of Barley Mint because I'm located just outside of Ottawa, and that's a photo of Parliament. Parliament. Peace Tower, to be specific, and we do a glassware buy. And so what I have is a couple different versions. Right, make sure I go and break them. Tulips and whatnot. Uh, and let's see, I have one over here from one of the local shops, and I've got... Uh, I used to have a whole pile of Spiegelau. Now this is literally my last one. They're really awesome for serving IPAs, but I find them so fragile, it's not even funny. And I got a paddle with a flight with some, uh, what do they call them, tasters. These are very awesome. This thing was even inscribed. And I got a couple of pictures. And the crazy thing with these pictures is this is some massive glass. Like this is serious. Like this is, it's got some heft to it. And it's all the same logo. And I think the picture was like 10 or 12 bucks. Um, I, I don't remember if I bought them both at the same time or I bought them over various orders. But um, that's, that's a small piece of the collection. These are the recent pieces. I'm going to take you upstairs now, out of the man cave, and I'm going to show you the uh, collection of glasses that we have upstairs. All right, so we're upstairs now. You can see the lighting's not very good. There we go. Okay, so a little history. Uh, I lived in Belgium for a number of years, and while we were there, we did a lot of glass collecting, and so what you're going to see now comes from there. All right, so first thing I'm going to say is you can ignore the, <laughs> the sleeping glasses because obviously that doesn't come from Europe. Okay, so let's see. All right, so we got one of these. I've got huge collection uh, again. Uh, now, mind you, hold on, hold on. Before I trash myself, those might actually be from Guinness because I did visit... Guinness. Uh, so some quack. And I've got one of these uh, glass holders here somewhere, but I don't think it's somewhere I can easily get to. And I have a ton of these coasters. Let's just skip. There you go. What's this one? Oh, Timmins. Blanche de Namur. Not pronounce that. That's in Flemish. 
and on and on. That's not what we're here for. All right, so let's see what we have here. This is a, I can't get it very well on the Gambrinus. That was a really nice pub that is in Bruges. And speaking of Bruges, Zot, the De Hafman, which is a brewery in Bruges. saint Feuillet, shout out to saint Feuillet, one of my favorite beers, is actually from the south of Belgium in, uh, is it in saint Feuillet? I don't remember, but it's in uh, Wallonia. Some Hoogarden, very awesome. Some additional coasters. All right, scoot down here. Oh yeah, when, so while I was traveling, I did a lot of buying. So like Germany, right? Louis Stefan, probably butchered that name. Um, all the various hard rock cafes. So we've got Prague, Stockholm. Let's see what London. Bucharest, another London, Gothenburg, which is in Sweden, Hard Rock, Myrtle Beach, not necessarily in Europe for most people, uh, Munich, let's see, what's this one, Erdinger from uh, Germany, and I bought myself a couple of Steins as well. I wonder if I should turn the lamp on on my camera. I'm hoping this thing will decide, decide to zoom at some point, or focus rather. All right, so that's one side here. That stuff up there is for wine, so that's not helpful. All right, we're going to scoot over to the other side. All right, now, first thing I'm going to say, I'm a huge fan of Grimbergen. So I have like... A gazillion of these glasses and let's see what's this one. Oh, this is another awesome one the maritsu all right and what's that back there that's another grimbergen but it's a special edition could not tell you what that says Got some more Maritsu. These are all Maritsu. I've got, oh, and I'm a huge fan of Left. I love Left. The Left Blonde is the best. All right. So I got multiple sizes. I got huge West Mal, all right? Even bigger than the Left. Candle holder. Don't know why I have that. That's from Spain. Let's see. That shouldn't even be there. Duvel, you have to have a duvel. La chouf. Marlef. Castile. Glasses, uh, they're not dirty. The glass is just made that way. More chouf. Some, whoa! Affligem. A couple of quack. Right? These are actually served this way. Crazy as it seems, you drink it like that. And let's see. Don't recall where this one is from actually. Might be from Prague. Hmm. And where was the other one I was reaching for? Oh yeah. This guy here. This one's pretty awesome. My glass has got some kind of like interesting bevel to it. I've got these are from a local, so they're from Bose, they're from a local uh, Oktoberfest, 
that we've been to a couple of times. And this one I really loved, Charles Quint. It's reported that these glasses are made that way so that the servant could hand it using both hands to the king, but that the king or royalty would not have to use the same handles that the servants do. So how's that for nose in the air? All right. Oh, and can't can't skip these. Barbar, honey beer. Very awesome. So there you go. That was my collection of glasses. Hope you enjoyed. All right. So that was my homebrew Wednesday for today. I hope you appreciated it, having a look at my uh, glass collection. I'm pretty sure there's more scattered about the house. Uh, but for now, that's all I can be bothered to take out because some of them are, you know, hidden away uh, pretty deep. So um, do me a favor, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, maybe tell me about some of the really interesting glasses you've got. Maybe you've got a bigger collection, maybe you've never thought about it. Give it a try. All right. Looking forward to talking to you again. Have a good one.